Petite Pot Rescue is like a nonprofit and I founded it last year and it takes in hamsters, dribbles, and mice and we foster them until they can find their forever home. So basically what that means is we go out and we look on buy and sell websites. We look in the adoption program at PetSmart and Petco. And also the community can reach out to us and we'll take in hamsters, gerbils, or mice. And we will um, take care of them until somebody reaches out to us and says, hey, I want to adopt one of them. As I said, I'm 15 and I founded the rescue. and. I just have the rescues Instagram up here in case you guys want, we post, you know, proper care. We post um, our pets that we have um, for adoption and also just like facts and stuff. Here's our mission statement. Um, any nonprofit, this is what I found when I was uh, researching is any nonprofit should have a mission statement. So our mission is to rescue, foster and rehome small pets and then to educate the community on proper small pet care. So um, pet store care guides, they're not really that great because they don't have um, research behind them. They're getting a little bit better as the times go on. But if you would like a just a simple care guide, we have it at our rescue, which is linked down here. It's um, Petite Pot Rescue and there's an extra T in Petite. Um, so some improper care, some stuff you'll see at the pet store that I was talking about, these colorful mm -hmm. small cages. They are so cute, but the thing is, that's the problem. They look like a toy and they're not like a cage. Um, so some better care would be tanks, bin cages, some DIY cages um, that are big enough and that meet the requirements. And those are really fun to make. Um, I have my gerbils and tanks. I made the lids. That was really fun. I have made bin cages for the rescue and that was a really fun bonding experience with my parents. Um, so yeah. And then hamsters, just like a rundown. They need, uh, as I said, minimum 450 square inches. They need bedding. They need, and an, depending on the size of the hamster, they need anywhere from a six to a 10 inch exercise wheel. They need hideouts because they're prey animals. They need a water bottle or a water bowl, a food bowl. Um, they need food. They need wood chew toys because their teeth are constantly growing and they also need treats. I didn't realize that they could have a bowl and not a water bottle. So that's interesting. Yeah, it's, um, some people say that it mirrors their like natural instincts more. I have found that my gerbils like to go into the bowl and tip it over. So they have had their bowl privileges removed. So obviously it just depends on the individual um, pet. But, and then Gerbils are a little bit the same, but gerbils are big chewers. Anybody who has gerbils know that. Um, so they need a glass or an acrylic enclosure. That's the size of a 20 gallon aquarium minimum because they will chew any other enclosure. They will chew out of a bin cage. They will chew out of a plastic pet store enclosure. Oh, wow. Yeah, they are the biggest chewers of the rodent family. Um, they also need bedding. They need a wheel. They need hideouts. Um, they need another gerbil because they'll get super sad if they aren't um, with another gerbil. Um, they need, again, a water bottle or water bowl, food bowl, food, lots of chew toys, uh, emphasis on literally anything. They need wood chew toys that you buy from the pet store. You can take your paper towel rolls that at the end, just toss them in there. They'll have a field day running through them and chewing on them. Literally, they will chew on anything. Just avoid plastic. And then- So my, all those um, fancy plastic cages that you showed in the beginning, I guess those are just for hamsters. Like they wouldn't, they shouldn't yeah, sell them. Yeah, well, they market anything. them towards gerbils, which is really interesting because gerbils, especially since they'll be stressed since it's too small, they will chew right out of there and you will have a little escaped gerbil running around your room. Wow. Yeah, so you can kind of tell that 
the research didn't go in there since they wouldn't know that gerbils are the biggest chewers of the rodent family and they would chew right out of there. They can chew through PVC, so they will have no problem with the little flimsy plastic on those cages. Um, and then mice, they need a minimum, bare minimum of 200 square inches. We kind of recommend bigger, um, but since they are a little bit smaller, they can uh, have minimum 200 square inches. Um, they need bedding, um, an eight to 10 inch wheel because their tails can't bend unlike um, gerbils, so they need a bigger wheel. They need hideouts because they're prey animals, water bottle, water bowl. Um, we recommend like a foraging toy to feed them because they're so smart that just a food bowl is so boring for them. They need food, climbing toys um, because they love to climb. They actually benefit from that vertical space. Um, they also need chew toys and they also need uh, treats so you can train them. You can actually train mice to do some basic tricks. And it's never too late to have the proper care. When I brought my gerbils home, they were not in an ideal setup, um, but I just kept doing research and I fixed my mistakes and now they're living a great life. So it's never too late to fix your mistakes.